How do you find your property corners? It's uh, it's actually a lot harder than than people think on some properties, and so <clears throat> we have properties that have never been surveyed, or they weren't surveyed and recorded, or or they haven't been surveyed recently. So you know, the the most ideal thing is we're looking for a bunch of orange flags, and 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 um, and most areas, um, the corners, the property corners, are actually. Uh, flag three times and so you'll see three bands of orange tape on a tree or something and, and then you'll know that there's an iron corner somewhere nearby <clears throat> on um, on some older properties or if it's a timber property they'll do three hatchet marks or three machete marks and that'll be the hatchet marks will be on the inside they'll be facing the property so the inside but you're looking for a band of three um, you need to have two things with you. You need to have an aerial and the actual survey. So the aerial's a nice cheat sheet, um, you know, uh, satellite photo, but then actually having the survey is helpful as well. And so when you have a survey, um, it'll say either IPS, which that means they put an iron point there, iron point set, or the survey will say IPF, which means iron point found it was there from someone else and um, uh, so you know there's an actual iron there and if you have the survey sometimes it will say you know 120 feet from the road so you can pace out 120 feet or you can actually measure it and then you got a good indication of, of where the iron is you should have a compass you need to know and that's right on your phone so you can you know figure out what direction you're going in um, so it'll say like Stake B is 50 feet north of stake A. Well, you just have to have your bearings. You just have to have okay. your bearings. So you need to know that, you know, this way is north. And, and, and so if you have the satellite image and the satellite image says this is north, then you need to know, you know, and you see a pond here and a tree here, you know, you're walking in the right direction. So, yeah, I've done meets and bounds description and I've done coordinates and I've done compass readings. That is a higher level of navigation skills that I think most, I'm just telling the average person how you can find your corners. <clears throat> There's good GPSs on phones right now. It'll put you generally in the right area to help you find the corners. Um, I actually have a Garmin that's specific for, so it's a little bit more accurate. Um, that's the other thing too, the county satellite photos aren't real accurate. People are like, well, it's here on the satellite and they just think because it's satellite and technology, but sometimes they have a little bit of a shift to them. They're not exactly where the property lines are. Yeah, on my property, Google Maps shows the property line and it's off by about eight feet. Yeah, exactly. And, I, and that's probably common, five to 20 feet is what they're no normally off. So eight feet's right in there. Um, uh, the, real important, Fences lie. So people think, oh, well, the fence is right there. That's where the property line is. The property line is hardly ever where the fence is. I mean, if you're in a small neighborhood, the fence might be right. But if you're on a big tract of land and you see a fence, do not assume that that's the line. They put that fence there because that was the easiest place to put the fence there. It doesn't have anything to do with the boundary line. It's just they're keeping cattle in or out or whatever. And so that's not what the fence is for. <clears throat> um, uh, one of the things that's really, really confusing for people is that they'll see two irons next to each other. And there's a variety of reason of why you would see two irons next to each other. It could be that this is your corner and this is your neighbor's corner and they just happen to be eight feet apart from each other. So um, you just have to figure out which is which. The other thing too is it could be two different opinions. This surveyor thought that this is where the corner was and he set the iron and this is where another surveyor and surveys Surveys are a little bit more art than science. You know, it's an opinion based on um, what they see of other surveys and based on what they read in the deed. Not, not everybody has the same agreement. So sometimes, sometimes we have overlap. So that's disputed land because, you know, one track goes over the other. And sometimes we have no man's land where there is actually a gap between the two surveys. And so, you know, I always tell clients, once you see that gap, have the surveyor go over to the other property because then you are gaining color of title for that gap. Um, and then uh, the other thing we said fences lie, but the other thing that's really confusing to people is that the majority of the time, 
even though your tax map doesn't show it, the majority of the time your actual deed, you own to the middle of the road. So you're not taxed on the right of way, but you own to the middle of the road. So if that iron's in the middle of the road, we're gonna have a tough time finding it because, I mean, they literally hammer them into the road, but then, you know, years later, you either can't find it or it's been paved over. Even on our gravel roads, another load of gravel comes in. So a lot of the time, your corner is in the middle of the road and people are really, really confused about that. And then, um, uh, just so you guys know that, I use all sources available. Two of the best ways to find corners are to ask the person that owns the property <laughs> where the corners are <laughs> or to ask a neighbor. And you know, some, I mean, not everybody always tells the truth or they have different, or they ha they're not lying, but they have different interpretations or whatever. But I mean, I get a lot of good information by um, asking people. And there's always, there's always fascinating stories. Oh, it used to be there, but we moved it over here and da 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 da. And, um, I used to carry uh, a wand, which was a, a surveyor's wand pretty expensive and I used, was always having to charge it. And this is, um, it's a metal detector and you just walk around and it makes a beep when you hear metal. I was getting a lot of fal false reads, false positives and everything. And also it's really not that hard. Once you get used to it, you can, you can find the corners pretty easy. Do uh, most, do some old deeds say uh, the corner is over by that stream or near the old Yeah, tractor? sometimes they do. That's good. So uh, uh, tractor axles are very common. So okay. uh, so a tractor axle is a is a really long-lasting iron monument. And, you know, we haven't had tractors forever or whatever, but still I find a lot of them. And I'll find tractor axles in the middle of the stream. We have to think that, you know, streams aren't so important now, but they were hugely important when you're on a farm. It was a source of water for the cattle or the livestock or irrigation. And so um, streams were real important. And so the, the deed or the description did say that the property went to the stream. The only problem with that is streams move. And so sometimes there's a huge, huge discrepancy on uh, where the property line is because that, that stream has moved.